Welcome to FM World Solutions. How can I help you today? Uh, hi, I dropped my sample off last week. I'm here to pick up my proxy. Last name, please? Campbell. Will? Yes. All right, so it appears your order is not ready just yet, but you'll receive a text message in a couple days. <laughs> you can't be serious. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, sir. This is rather new technology. I can't believe this. It was supposed to be today. Well, would you like to see? He's still in the adolescent phase, but it won't be long until he's fully grown. He'll be different, right? Well? In a way, proxies look, move, and talk exactly like the individual, but they are designed for therapeutic recovery. Everything up here is programmed to respond to grief and deliver a feeling of comfort. Fascinating. Man, what's up? Nothing much, Nate. Bad day at work? Well, it was an average day, so yeah, pretty bad. Sorry, dude. Want a person? No, thanks, man. So how's the fiance? She's fine, she's good. Yeah. You know, Will, you got yourself a pretty good woman. You're pretty lucky, dude. Either you've lost a child or separated from your spouse, grief no further. Here at Ephemeral Solutions, we've been working hard to bring an end to your sorrow. Become reunited with your loved one through our proxy program. These biological units are specially designed to treat grief and deliver a feeling of comfort. Easier to care for, easier to love. Shit. How typical of him to be late. Um, I'm sure he'll be here any minute. He said he had to run some errands after work. My God, Will, you look awful. We've been waiting here for hours. Where have you been? <laughs> I'm sorry I'm late. Such terrible habits. This isn't how your mother and I raised you. Let's please have a nice dinner for once. It isn't often we're all together like this. I'm just saying, the boy needs to take some responsibility in his life. Maybe if he showed me he could do that, he'd actually be a candidate for the management position. Uh, actually, Dad, I've been thinking about leaving the company so I can pursue my dream of being a street magician. Why you fail to take your future seriously is beyond me. Harry. That's enough. How are you doing, honey? Here we go. You know, you guys are too predictable. It's almost like we have the same conversation every time we have dinner. Um, I'm doing fine. Thank you. So, have you two thought about children? I knew it. 
All you two care about is yourselves. And guess what, Audrey? They don't really give a shit how you're doing. Well, language. You will not speak to us that way. Well, come back. You just got here. Let him go. Will. Will. Hey. I can't take another second in there. You can't take another second in there? I'm the one who always has to deal with your family yelling matches. Don't put what happened there on me. That was all them. They suffocate me with their insane expectations, and if I don't live my life the way that they want me to, they go batshit crazy. Look, just because you and your family don't get along doesn't mean you have to take it out on me. All I am to them is a failure who can't control any aspect of his own life. And I'm the same to you too. How could you think that? Look, I know you're not happy, and it tears me apart to know that I'm not enough for you, but I'm still here, and I still stand beside you. But how much longer is it going to be? How much longer are you going to keep torturing yourself like this? Because I don't think I can hold on much longer. I'm sorry. It's too late for me, Audrey. I thought I was ready, but I can't do this. I'm leaving. And I thought I was doing it for me, but the truth is, I'm, I'm saving you. Can't you tell this isn't working, Audrey? Why didn't you just let me go? A proxy. Is that really what you think I want, Will? To live a lie? What are you not getting, Audrey? I'm a black hole. And if I stay, all I'll do is make you resent me. So let's go. You and me. Right now. You can't be serious. I'm serious. Audrey, you have a family. And do you think that this is really gonna change anything? Don't you wanna be happy? Not if it isn't real, Will. I love you. And I know things are rough, but life is not about comfort. Life is about finding true meaning. You and me, that's what's real. <laughs>